Let's use this to make a door. Open sesame! Nah, come on, you can do better than that. To build this, you're going to need these items. Chiseled bookshelf, redstone comparator, some redstone dust, at least two sticky pistons, blocks to move, I'm just gonna use bookshelves, and then two books to put into the chiseled bookshelves. I'm just gonna use protection one because it's what I grabbed first. Doesn't really matter as long as you can put them in the chiseled bookshelf. So to just show you a very bare bones use for this, we're going to lay down the chiseled bookshelf and we're going to have a comparator coming out of it. We're then going to snake the redstone over, have our sticky pistons right here, You'll then attach the blocks that you want to move to the sticky pistons. Again, I'm just using bookshelves. I also forgot you're going to need at least one redstone repeater and some building blocks. So we're going to place a building block right here and a building block right behind that. So two in a row. Take your redstone repeater going in like so and then snake that redstone dust up here. And that's the basic circuit. So the way that this works is that you will place a book in a signal that can get to this redstone repeater, which is going to be one, two, and three. But anytime you take a book out, it's going to remember that signal. So for example, if I put it in the very last slot for six, it's going to power this so it comes out, which is great. But if I take that book back out, it stays power. So to depower it, you're going to want to put it into one, two, or three. I think actually three will turn it on. Yep, three will actually turn it on. So you need at least two books to get this to work. Here is a more practical use that you could use this in like a library build or in a base or something like that. You could easily have a wall of whatever blocks you're building with and a secret entrance to then go through. And remember that it's going to remember whatever output you take out last. So if I take out the one, it's always gonna remember the one, but if I put in like a five, you're gonna hear those pistons move and it moves that bookshelf back in. But I can also take another book and put it in one and it's going to move it. Pretty simple, it's the exact same kind of circuit that we built before, but I just kind of snaked the redstone around a little bit. So it doesn't take three to activate it, but it does go a little farther. So I have to activate at least four for it to get powered. But you can do this with whatever kind of length of redstone that you wanna use. But also just know that you cannot move chiseled bookshelves at all with pistons. I really wish you could, but they get treated like an entity, like chests and barrels, unfortunately. YouTube thinks you guys would like these videos, so go ahead and check out one of those if you want to see more of my content. And don't forget to check out one of the links in the description down below for all my social media. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Always remember the most important thing is to be odd and wash your hands. Peace, guys.